Mr Speaker, I can only hope that his police questionnaire was a bit more convincing than that. <laughs> How did he find a Chancellor as utterly cynical as he is? Yeah. The former CEO of BP, Lord John Brown, says a windfall tax is justifiable. Does the Prime Minister still think that he and the Chancellor are tax-cutting Conservatives? Yeah, good question. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr Speaker, I certainly, I certainly do, because... I, I certainly do, because uh, this, is, uh, this is the government of the... Perp- tic- oh, yeah, what, what, uh, it's the biggest tax cut proposed by my uh, right honourable friend, the Chancellor, for 25 years. Yes, yeah. Cut the nonsense yeah. and, tr- yeah. and, and, and treat the British people with a bit of respect. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty... Yeah. Fifteen tax rises, the highest tax burden for 70 years. For every £6 they're taking in tax rises, they're only handing £1 back. Prime Minister, is that cutting taxes or is that raising taxes? Uh, Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I don't know where he's been for the last two years. Uh, But even, even even by the standards... Even by the standards of, even by the, yes, he has. Uh, even, even by the standards of Captain Hindsight, Mr. Speaker, uh, to, to obliterate, to obliterate the biggest pandemic uh, for the last century from his memory, to obliterate the 408 billion uh, that we've had to spend to look after people up and down the country is quite extraordinary. Mr. Speaker, I can only hope that his police questionnaire was a bit more convincing than that. <laughs> This year, this year, this year, British people face the worst fall in living standards on record. But in 2024, when there just so happens to be a general election, they will introduce a small tax cut. That's not taking difficult decisions. It's putting the Tory re-election campaign over and above helping people pay their bills. How did he find a Chancellor as utterly cynical as he is? What we have, Mr Speaker, is a Chancellor who took the tough decisions to look after uh, the UK economy uh, throughout the pandemic, who protected protected people up and down the land uh, with £408 billion worth of support, Mr Speaker. And, and by the way, if we listen to them, if we listen to Captain... This is the truth. If we listen to... The tough decisions. Give me a break. Income stealth tax, a tax on working people. Tuition fee raid, a tax on working people. National insurance hike, a tax on working people. All while oil and gas companies see unexpected bumper profits. A windfall tax would raise billions and ease the burden on working people. Mr Speaker... The former CEO of BP, Lord John Brown, says a windfall tax is justifiable. The current CEO says they have, in his words, more cash than they know what to do with. Why is the Prime Minister more interested in shielding oil and gas profits than supporting working people? Mr Speaker, it's a classic example of what Labour has got wrong uh, in their their, their period in office. Uh, The the oil and gas companies are now investing £20 billion, uh, Mr Speaker, in ensuring that we have long-term energy supplies. That he can keep raising taxes and call himself a tax cutter. That he can hike tax during a cost-of-living crisis and get credit for giving a bit back just before an election. When is he going to stop taking the British public for fools? Mr Speaker, this is, the, this is the leader of the opposition who would have kept this country in lockdown uh, and made it absolutely impossible. That, you know, he has zero consistency on, on any issue, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, but one thing we know about is he would like to take us back into the EU and take us back into lockdown uh, if he possibly could. Uh, but thanks, thanks to what this government has done, uh, we have 
unemployment back down to the levels it was before the pandemic, the economy bigger than it was, and we have record vacancies, Mr Speaker. The difference between them and us is, is they want to keep people... Mr Speaker, they want to keep people on benefits. We want to help people into work. And that's what we're doing uh, in record numbers. Uh, they want to raise taxes. We want to cut taxes. And that's what we're doing, uh, Mr Speaker. And we're tackling, we're tackling illiteracy. They didn't give a damn, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, we're getting on with making this country, making this country the best place to invest. Last time I updated the House, Mr Speaker, on the number of unicorns that we had in, of unicorns in this country. That's tech countries worth more than a billion dollars, Mr Speaker.